Because you're at the mercy of nature with outdoor gardening, not much changes with hydroponics or tower gardens. So if you already know the best time to set up your gardens, if you already know what zone you're in, if you already know how to deal with the sun and the conditions of outside when it comes to gardening, then this video probably isn't gonna be anything groundbreaking for you. But if you're new to gardening, if you just got a tower garden and you wanna know the best time to set up your tower garden outside, and if you wanna learn more about gardening in your local area, then this video is gonna help you out a lot. Now with indoor tower gardens, you can pretty much just throw money at a problem until it's fixed. But with outside tower gardens, you're really at the mercy of nature because there is one factor that has direct influence over every single stage of your plant and even tells your plant when to switch to certain stages. And that of course is the sun. So the length of the light throughout the day as well as the intensity of sunlight actually tells the plant what season and what stage of growth the plant is in. This is why if you introduce a plant to a lot of intense red light when it's young, it'll just bolt, which means it'll just go straight into flowering and create a seed because it thinks that it came out of the ground too late in the season and it just needs to go up to save itself. So the last thing we wanna do is plant our tower garden when everything's just gonna go bolting. So starting your tower garden in the summer months will likely lead to bolting with a lot of your plants. You'll notice they won't have much of a vegetative stage, especially like your lettuce. Arugula loves to bolt, so does spinach, especially on a hydroponic tower garden. So if you plant any of those in the summer months, likely you're not gonna harvest much. They're just gonna go straight to flower. Universally, the best time to plant outside is in March, early spring. And of course, this is gonna be dependent upon the zone that you live in. In the, in the United States, there are what are known as hardness zones. And this is gonna be a numerical representation tower garden just kicked on. Hold on. And this is just a numerical representation of the climate. So zones one through eight are going to be uh, seasonal climates. That These are places that experience all seasons to their fullest. Where I live now in Maui, Hawaii is an 11. It's a tropical climate. You can grow plants here all year round. It's pretty much on the far end of the scale. Throughout the continental United States, zone nine is known as the best zone to grow your produce in. And that's gonna encompass a lot of California, and that's why a lot of produce comes from California. So all you have to do is just hop on the internet and type in where you live and what hardness zone that is, and you'll find out what zone you're in. Now this will tell you about when you should start your plants. If you live in a seasonal area like this, then you'll likely experience two harvests per year. If you plant in early spring and you plant in late summer. However, as we move up to zones eight, nine, 10, you can experience more harvest per year because you can actually grow throughout the more mild months. So really right now, if you haven't noticed the garden buzz in the air, people getting excited, plants going on sale, greenhouses opening back up, that's because March is time to start your plants. So with that in mind, this is the beginning of a tower garden series that I'm doing where I have a tower garden outside, Grayson in the tower garden, dude. That's not even close to the tower garden. And a tower garden inside. These are tower garden flex units and I'm gonna be growing them side by side. I'm gonna be doing an insanely optimized indoor garden setup in my cyberpunk garden office that I built out. Don't worry, I'll be doing a full tour of this garden soon. And then I'm also gonna set a tower garden out in my zone 11 beautiful tropical sun while I watch everything grow. And then as a control, I'm also gonna grow everything that I'm growing on these tower gardens in soil. So we can see just how much better things grow on tower gardens or if they do at all. So make sure you subscribe for that. And then after we let these gardens grow out, we're gonna weigh the harvest. And I'm gonna report back to you guys and let you know if indoor, outdoor, or soil yielded the most. We're not just gonna be growing lettuce either. I'm growing tomatoes, peppers, squash, zucchini, peas. I'm going all out. Everything that I would wanna grow in a garden outside, I'm gonna grow in both of these tower gardens and in a garden outside. And since it is the beginning of March, it's the perfect time for me to get started. So without further ado, let's grow together. Better get started.